Today on the New Wedge Yard, we've got stacking and splitting to do. Here we go. What we have here is a pile of cherry that I split yesterday. And I'm going to stack this first because it's kind of right here. And uh, so I got to kind of eat into the pile, stack some of it here, stack some of it there. Probably not over there because I'm going to split this stuff and we'll stack it over there because I kind of want to keep the stuff back here. So first we're going to do the stacking and then we're going to do the splitting. Then we're going to do more stacking. I'm going to go grab my moisture meter and I'm going to show you how dry this wood is. And I just split it. So I got my moisture meter, got a chunk of wood. This was split yesterday. Here is what it says. And I haven't tested it yet. This is fresh split wood. It's at 19%. And that's on the inside. This was, like I say, just split. I'm going to grab another one here and I'll show you from the outside. This is a piece that was just split in half. So it's not a real big one. On the outside, it says about 16. On the inside, it says less. <laughs> I don't know how it's possible, but that's what it says. Let me grab another one here. Here's one that's got no bark. And as you can see here, this is what I was surprised with because these uh, rounds that I split yesterday, uh, and I cut it yesterday too on yesterday's video. And you should have saw that. If you haven't, go back and watch it. You need to because it's a good one. Uh, the, uh, the rounds were from logs that I had back kind of just on the edge of the woods over here and it's wood that I stacked there. I, I received it way up over there from a log load and I didn't want it there because I knew I was getting more wood in. I wanted to get the oak done first because that takes much longer. I had oak, hickory, and locust. I had to get a whole bunch of that done first before I hit this cherry. I knew the cherry would be fine because it would dry fairly fast. What I didn't realize is that it dries really good in log form too. So it's been sitting here for seven, eight months, something like that. That's the outside of that one, and that's the one that's got to be cracked on it. I'll check the very inside of this now. 16.5. So all this wood is ready to burn right now. All of it. Just got split yesterday. And uh, here's another one. It's just a piece that was in half. So I'll check the inside of this one here. 17%. Is that cool or what? I'm gonna go grab a piece from over here, stuff that that has been stacked now for, I don't know, a few days, but it was split a while ago, you can tell, because it's starting to turn dark already. So I'll just grab this one right off the top here, bring it over here. So this is one that was in the pile. This was laying on the ground in split form. 12%, almost 13. Try another spot, 12%. So that's wood that was on the ground. I'm gonna go way over there and I grab a piece from the big pile in the back there because that roll was stacked probably a couple months ago now. Well, maybe not even that, about a month ago. But it was stuff that was in a big pile, so it was kind of high, it wasn't sitting right on the ground. I'm gonna go grab a couple of those pieces. I can walk over here and grab one and, or two. Let's just grab this one right here on the top. I'll grab another one over here. It looks like it was one that was just split in half. And I'll bring it over there. Now these, uh, these pieces are just excellent size too. I mean, that's about as good as you can get, in my opinion, for selling. So here's one that was on the ground. I'm gonna test the middle of it here that was just split. 10%, that's dry. That's very dry. Once you approach single digits, it's dry wood. Here's one that was cut in half. 12. Sweet. So all this is ready to burn right now. So there you go, good example. Another reason why I love cherry so much. Number one, however you wanna do it. Number one, it cuts really easy. Um, it's not big wood. It's not monster pieces. A big cherry is, maybe, you know, 16 inches. That's a big one. Generally, you're gonna get a lot of cherry that's 12 to eight inches. That's what a lot of the size is that I get. Cherry, it just doesn't come really, really big. Uh, the stuff I get anyway, I just have never seen any really, really huge cherry. So it's not super big wood, so it's not hard to handle. It's a little lighter than oak, it's a little lighter than locust, it's a little, little lighter than hickory. Um, the BTUs aren't quite as high. However, it cuts easy. It splits easy, it smells fantastic, it dries very fast, and once people try it, especially for the people I sell to, the fireplace people, the people are not heating with wood, although it's fine for heating, they love it because it, it starts so easy. It burns easy, it has a nice flame to it, 
just smells great. So cherry, number one. Okay, we're gonna get to work stacking. So I'm just gonna start stacking right here and uh, just kinda build this pile up that I got going here. And if I'm not splitting into the trailer like I have been lately, I try to have the pile basically be right up against where I'm stacking so I can just grab it and put it in a pile. And uh, you know, people have asked me, you know, why don't you split and stack at the same time, you know, as you come off of there? Because you can do much faster by doing one job at a time. If you've done any kind of production with firewood, you know that you don't want to be taking any steps to do anything. You want to basically do the job standing in one spot. So I have my pile right next to me when it's splitting. You're going to see that later on that pile over there. When I'm stacking, I want it right here, whether it's in the trail coming trailer, it's coming to me, or if it's just on the ground, I can just stack it right here. So you want it as close as possible. You don't want to be taking steps at all. The more uh, pieces you have to deal with, the more you want to do one thing at a time. So basically just stack away like this. So it goes this fast. Now I can go faster, which you guys have seen a lot. And I'm gonna be doing that in just a minute here. We're gonna speed things up, but I just wanna say that it's really important to make your, the steps as few as possible. Steps as far as actual footwork steps and steps as far as the procedure of what you're doing. You want it to be simple. That's key. You wanna be able to just fly right through this stuff. So, okay, now we're speeding it up here. Here we go. There it is. I got the cherry stacked right here, some over here. And then I just took some of the rounds that were sitting right here where I just moved the splitter into, chucked them all the way so I can get the splitter kind of right into where I want the rounds. Uh, so I'm getting close to the rounds, so I can be right next to them. I'm gonna let all of the uh, split pieces fall off that end because I'm gonna start stacking over there right and through here. And I kind of want to put a, going to put a pallet down there first so I can get a start with it so I don't bury it. Um, with wood before I get the pallet in there. And then I'll just gradually move the splitter back this direction. And this pile right here is gonna take me a couple hours. So that's, so that's three face, three full cords at least, uh, or more, I don't know, there's a bunch of wood there. So yeah, I just try to get the splitter as close as I can like this, so that when I'm working, I can uh, be standing right there, have the wood right behind me so I can grab it, set it, grab it, set it, and let it just fall off the end. And that's what how you get it done the fastest. So. Splitting happens right now.
That's a bunch of wood. That took about, I think it was about two hours and 40 minutes I split. So it's about three full cords, which is about what I figured. Cause I do a little more than a full cord an hour if I've got the wood close by and I can just hammer it out. And that's what it was. And Terry, you know, you can pick up two pieces at a time and you can really go through it. Sometimes I was stacking pieces. So I'm splitting two small rounds at a time with the four way. So I was having, you know, right size pieces just do a one pass and then some of the small skinny stuff I just stacked two of them and then some of the bigger ones I only had to split you know like an extra one time on them on the bottom I would flip them over but there's not that many big ones like that chunk that's sitting over there that burl that's about as big as as the cherry gets but there it is it's all right here nice and tight so what I'll do now is I'll pull the splitter out of here and I'll start stacking this wood right here kind of finish this off and that'll clear out this end and then i'll have this end available so that i can then put another pallet down and take the stuff that's um, right here well then once this is gone and it's over there then i'll take the next row put it here and i'll finish up over there so i'm kind of going to keep the wood up against tight this way so this will all be open so eventually i can probably put some more wood in here so we'll see what happens but that's not happen till tomorrow i'm done for the day i got stuff i got to go do so you're going to poke some buttons now tomorrow i'll be back 5 30 a.m with another video and right now if you go to my channel there's over 800 videos waiting for you to watch there's one on the screen right now check it out
Good night, Irene. Mm-hmm.